Turkey's top 21 weapons defend land, air, and sea shocked the world. The Turkish defense industry started its journey with licensed production of armored combat vehicles, ACVs, and today has access to more complex vehicles and systems such as armored amphibious rigs, anti-tank vehicles, medium and main battle tanks together with a wide range of turret solutions. Much of the Turkish military's equipment is foreign-made, but the country is currently making an effort to build up its military industrial base. Turkey is developing locally produced tanks, rockets and missiles, and is expanding ties with foreign defense contractors. Turkish companies were subcontractors for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, and Turkey is now developing its own fighter jet. With that in mind, here are 21 of the most powerful weapons in the Turkish military. Number 1, Roquettes and Sirit. Sirit is a laser-guided 70mm missile system under production by Turkish arms industry manufacturer Roketsan. It is one of the projects launched by Turkey to equip the Turkish Army's T-129 attack, AH-1P Cobra, and AH-1W Super Cobra attack helicopters with low-cost precision strike capabilities. It has been selected by Eurocopter for execution of a test and integration program to equip the Eurocopter EC-635. The weapon's name comes from a traditional Turkish horseback game, Sirit, pronounced Jirit, where two teams of riders fight a mock battle using wooden javelins which are called Sirit. Sirit is a 70mm, 2.75-in, guided missile system fitted with a semi-active laser homing seeker. The seeker and guidance section is attached to a purpose-built warhead with a Class 5 and sensitive munition IM. The multi-purpose warhead has a combined armor-piercing ammunition with enhanced behind armor anti-personnel and incendiary effects. The engine is of reduced smoke design with IM properties. Number 2, SOMJ Cruise Missile. As part of Turkey's contribution to the F-35 program, Turkish defense contractor Roketsan partnered with Lockheed Martin to develop the SOM, standoff missile, cruise missile. SOM is Turkey's first cruise missile, designed to attack targets both on land and at sea. There are several versions under development, but the most advanced is probably SOMJ. SOMJ was designed to be carried internally in the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter's weapon bays, preserving the jet's stealthy profile against probing enemy radars. The missile is also designed to be carried externally by several types of warplanes especially the F-16 fighter. Lockheed Martin describes SOMJ as, for use against heavily defended, high-value anti-surface warfare, ASUW, and land targets. These include surface-to-air missile, SAM, sites, exposed aircraft, strategic assets, command and control centers, and naval vessels. Like most cruise missiles, SOMJ is turbojet-powered and flies at subsonic speeds. It has a range of 155 miles and a high-explosive warhead designed to be effective against hardened targets. Number 3, Atmica Missile. Atmica, Accipiter, is an all-weather, long-range, precision strike, and tie ship cruise missile, developed by Turkish missile manufacturer Roketsan. The Atmica will enter service with the Turkish Navy to gradually replace the country's existing inventory of Harpoon missiles. The missile makes use of its Global Positioning System GPS, Inertial Navigation System, Barometric Altimeter and Radar Altimeter to navigate towards its target, while its active radar seeker pinpoints the target with high precision. With a range of more than 220 kilometers, 140 miles, this guided missile poses a major threat for targets situated beyond the line of sight due to its high explosive fragmentation warhead. Its modern data link provides Atmica with the ability to 3D mission planning, update targets, re-attack and terminate the mission. Missile is ultra sea skimming as it approaches the target. Number 4, TRLG-230 Laser Guided Missile. TRLG-230 missile provides accurate and effective firepower on high-priority targets within the ranges 20 to 70 kilometers. TRLG-230 missile can be launched from rockets and MCL, multi-caliber launcher, artillery weapon system and other platforms with compatible interfaces. 
Turkish company Roketsin continues the development of the TRLG-230 missile that will be integrated into unmanned combat aerial vehicles UCAV, for air-to-surface use. The TRLG-230 is a variant of the 230mm missile that has been integrated with a laser seeker for the export market. Number 5. Sunger Air Defense System Turkey's indigenous Sunger Man Portable Air Defense System manpads, is all set to enter service with the military. The Sunger utilizes titanium warhead and a long-range radar. It uses Soviet cold launch technology, in which the missile is expelled by gas and the rocket engine ignited after the missile clears the silo. The same method is used in Russian S-300 and S-400 air defense systems. The portable Sunger can be installed on land, air and sea platforms. It can reportedly detect, track and hit targets through 360 degrees from moving platforms. Number 6. Turkish AESA Radar Afrad According to Aselsan, Afrad combines indigenous design with latest technological advances including fully solid-state transmit-slash-receive modules, digital signal processing, pulse compression, multiple target tracking, electronic beam stabilization along with advanced electronic counter-counter measures. The Afrad radar is being developed for the future TF-2000 frigate's anti-air warfare of the Turkish Navy. It will come in the form of an integrated mast combining four main sensors, from top to bottom. An active, non-rotating IFF antenna. An X-band active phased array multifunction radar, 150km range and track capacity in excess of 1,000 targets. An X-band active phased array illumination radar, 150km range. An S-band active phased array long-range search radar, for 50 km range and track capacity in excess of 2,000 targets. Number 7, TAI Anka Drone. The TAI Anka is a family of unmanned aerial vehicles developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries primarily for the Turkish Air Force. Envisioned in the early 2000s for aerial surveillance and reconnaissance missions, Anka has evolved into a modular platform with synthetic aperture radar, precise weapons and satellite communication. The basic version, ANKA, was classified as a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle for reconnaissance missions. Introduced in 2010, ANKA granted its first contract in 2013 from Turkish Air Force. The force requested further studies in advanced uninterrupted intelligence, reconnaissance, and communication technologies. The aircraft was set to a long development phase to introduce National Mission Computer, National Flight Control System, Synthetic Aperture Radar, Indigenous Engine and Friend or Foe Identification System. ANKA-B made its first flight in 2014 and completed factory tests in 2015. In 2017, Turkish Aerospace Industries introduced ANKA-S and the aircraft entered service with the Turkish Air Force. Number 8, Bayraktar TB-2 UCAV. The Bayraktar TB-2 is a tactical armed-slash-UAV system developed and manufactured by Baycar. A highly sophisticated design that provides all solutions that operator may need in one integrated system. The system consists of Bayraktar TB-2 armed-slash-UAV platform, ground control station, ground data terminal, remote display terminal, advanced base with generator and trailer modules. Bayraktar TB-2 platform has a blended wing body design with its inverse V-tail structure. Blended wing body design supports the lifting performance of the overall platform. Thrust is generated through the internal combustion engine placed between the tail booms. Monocoque platform is modular with detachable main items such as wing, tail boom, and V-tails. All of the fuselage items are mostly made of carbon fiber composite parts whereas precision CNC machined aluminum parts are used at the junction sections of the platform. Fuel is stored within bladder tanks and fuel consumption is automatically balanced with solenoid valves. Variable pitch two-blade propeller allows for medium altitude efficient flying. Number 9, Omta's medium-range anti-tank guided missile. The Omta's, Orta Manzili tanks of our systemy, also known as Mizrako, is a Turkish medium-range anti-tank guided missile developed by Roketsin. Omtas is an advanced anti-tank missile system with various types of latest technologies, effective against modern armored threats on the battlefield. 
Omtas is likely to replace current 152mm BGM-71 tow and 103mm Milan from Turkish service. The Omtas weapon system is a combination of missile, missile launching platform with fire control unit, carrying cases and training simulator. It intended to destroy stationary and moving armored targets. Number 10, Hisar, Missile Family. The Hisar Fortress is a family of short, medium and long-range surface-to-air missile systems being developed by Roketsen and Aselsen since 2007. The missiles are developed by Roketsen, while most sensors and electronics are developed by Aselsen. The missile family consists of the short-range Hisar A, medium-range Hisar O, the 100 km long-range Hisar U, and the 150 km air defense system Cyper. Missile seeker of Hisare and Hisaro is infrared homing. Number 11, Korkut self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. The Korkut is a Turkish all-weather capable 35mm self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, SPAAG, developed by Aselsen. Designed to replace two aging M42A1 duster systems of the Turkish armed forces, each Korkut system compromises of one command and control vehicle and three weapons platforms. Each weapon platform carries a twin 2x35mm Erlikon KDC-02 cannon, manufactured under license by MKEK. Each weapon system can fire up to 1,100 rounds a minute up to a range of 4 km. The command and control vehicle has an effective radar range of 70 km. The weapon system vehicle and command and control vehicle configurations designed under the Korkut project are based on the FNSS ACV-30 and is fully amphibious, and have the capability of propelling themselves in deep water and rivers. The Turkish Armed Forces has ordered 40 weapon systems, deliveries are scheduled to complete in 2022. Number 12, Leopard 2 Altai Tank. Turkey has purchased the first batch of 56 second-hand Leopard 2A4 main battle tanks from Germany that were delivered from 2010 to 2014. These tanks have been modernized to the standard NG, next generation, by the Turkish company Aselsan. According to the military balance 2020, the Turkish army has a total of 2,379 MBTs including 316 Leopard 2A4, 170 Leopard 1A4, and 227 Leopard 1A3. The Leopard 2A4 is an upgraded version of the first generation of Leopard 2 MBT including an automated fire and explosion suppression system, an all-digital fire control system able to handle new ammunition types, and an improved turret with flat titanium slash tungsten armor. The Leopard 2A4 is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun which has been developed by Rainmetal. A 7.62mm coaxial machine gun is mounted to the left side of the main armament and one 7.62mm machine gun to the hatch of the loader. Two banks of four 76mm smoke grenade dischargers are mounted to each side of the turret. Number 13, MAM, Smart Micro Munition. MAM, Mini Achille Mohammed, Smart Micro Munition is a family of GPS-slash-INS and laser-guided smart munitions produced by Turkish defense industry manufacturer Roketsen. 1. MAM has been developed for unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, light attack aircraft, fighter aircraft and air ground missions for low payload capacity air platforms. MAM can engage both stationary and moving targets with high precision. MAML Lightweight Smart Micro Munition has been developed for unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, light attack aircraft and air-to-ground missions. MAML offers high strike precision and efficiency with alternative warheads against fixed and mobile targets. Number 14, T-129 ATAK. T-129 ATAK is a twin-engine, tandem-seat, multi-role, all-weather attack helicopter based on the Augusta A129 Mangusta platform. The T-129 was developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, with partner Augusta Westland. The helicopter is designed for advanced attack and reconnaissance missions in hot and high environments and rough geography in both day and night conditions. The ATAK program was begun to meet the Turkish Armed Forces requirements for an attack and tactical reconnaissance helicopter. 
The T129 is the result of the integration of Turkish-developed avionics, airframe modifications, and weapon systems onto the Augusta Westland A129 airframe, with upgraded engines, transmission and rotor blades. It is in use by the Turkish Army and other services including the Turkish Gendarmerie. Number 15, Leopard 2. Turkey's first-line main battle tank is the the German-made Leopard 2. Developed during the 1970s, the Leopard 2 is a contemporary of the American Abrams. The Leopard 2 features an advanced composite matrix armor, 120mm smoothbore gun, and a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine. The Leopard 2 was designed for the West German Army, giving it a credible tank force against the forces of the Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact, and at its height the Bundeswehr operated 2,100 Leopard 2 tanks. The end of the Cold War saw a unified Germany eviscerate its tank force, and Turkey was one of many countries that purchased second-hand Leopard 2s. Turkey operates several hundred Leopard 2A4, but the tanks lack many of the improvements particularly additional armor other Leopard 2 operators such as Germany, Singapore, and Sweden have added to their tanks. In 2016 at least 10 Turkish Leopard 2s were destroyed in fighting with Islamic State militants operating anti-tank guided missiles. Number 16, F-16 Fighting Falcon. The Turk Hava Kuvvetleri, or Turkish Air Force operates one of the largest F-16 fleets outside of the United States. The TAF operates approximately 270 F-16s and divides them into 158 F-16CS in the fighter role and 87 in the trainer role. Turkey owns F-16 Block 30, 40 and 50 jets, the latest entering service in 2012. Turkey's fighters are armed with AIM-9X Sidewinder and AIM-120 Amram air-to-air -air missiles, Maverick air-to-ground missiles, and GBU-12 Pave Way 2 laser-guided bombs. Turkey not only flies the F-16, it is one of only a handful of countries to manufacture the aircraft. The experience gained has led the country to begin development of the country's first indigenous fighter, TFX. A mock-up of the fighter was unveiled in the summer of 2019 at the Paris Air Show. Turkey had originally anticipated replacing older Block 30 F-16s with the F-35A, but Turkey's removal from the Joint Strike Fighter program means the older jets will likely have to fly on, with upgrades, until TFX is ready. Number 17, Type 209-214 Submarines. Turkey operates 14 Type 209 submarines, one of the largest undersea fleets in Mediterranean. The boats were laid down between 1972 and 2002, with deliveries ending in 2008. The first tranche of six Type 209-1200 boats displace 1,285 tons submerged, are armed with American Mark 37 torpedoes, and are capable of 22 knots submerged. The last was delivered in 1990, making them quite old, but half were set to receive upgrades in the 2010s. A second tranche of eight Type 209-1400 boats entered service between 1994 and 2008. These are slightly larger, at 1,586 tons submerged, and are equipped with German and UK-made torpedoes. The oldest of the 209s are set to be replaced with six new Reese-class Type 214 submarines. The Gulkuk Naval Shipyard in Izmir will build these submarines under license from Germany. The 214s displace 1,860 tons and are equipped with eight 533 mm torpedo tubes for launching American Mk. 48 torpedoes and Harpoon anti-ship missiles. An important upgrade over previous submarines is the installation of an air-independent propulsion AIP system and the ability to travel at speeds of up to six knots on fuel cells. Turkish shipyards began construction of the first ship in 2015. Number 18, Miljam Project. Miljam Project is a national warship program of the Republic of Turkey. Managed by the Turkish Navy, the project aims at developing multipurpose corvettes and frigates that can be deployed in a range of missions, including reconnaissance, surveillance, early warning, anti-submarine warfare, surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air warfare, and amphibious operations. As of 2018, the Miljam project covers four Ada-class anti-submarine warfare corvettes and one Elant corvette, 
for Istanbul-class multipurpose frigates and TF-2000-class anti-air warfare destroyers destined for the Turkish Navy, for Bobber-class corvettes for the Pakistan Navy. The name of the project emerged from the phrase national ship in Turkish Mili Gemi. Number 19, Turkey Cyper Long Range Air Defense System. Turkey has test fired the locally developed Cyper High Altitude, Long Range Air and Missile Defense System. Ismail Demir, head of Turkey's Presidency of Defense Industries, SSB, tweeted on November 6. He said, We have successfully completed another stage in the development of our long range and multi layered national air defense system, the Cyper. Conducted at a test range in the Black Sea province of Sinop, it was the first publicly known launch of a Cyper missile. In a video accompanying the tweet, Demir said the missile is planned to enter Turkey's military inventory in 2023. Testing will continue with launches at increasing ranges and altitudes, he added. Number 20, 30 mm Smash Remote Controlled Stabilized Naval Gun System. Smash is a remotely operated stabilized weapon station fitted with 30 mm MK44 Bushmaster II cannon. Smash configurations incorporate advanced features as remote operation, built-in electro-optic sensor system for autonomous operation, day and night operation, stabilized turret, automatic target tracking, detect, track and fire on the move, and ballistic computation. Smash system has a stabilized turret which enables the line of sight of the gun to be aimed at the target at all times. Due to the stabilization feature, the system can perform precise firings against stationary or moving targets while the platform is on the move. System can be operated remotely by using the remote gun control unit and hence provides gunner protection against counter fire. Besides, Smash system is capable of firing 200 rounds per minute with its dual-feed 30mm automatic cannon. Number 21, Asselpod Advanced Targeting Pod Electro-Optical Reconnaissance, Surveillance, and Targeting System. Asselpod is a high-performance electro-optical reconnaissance, surveillance, and targeting system designed specifically for fighter aircrafts. Asselpod is designed as the new generation targeting pod for fighter aircrafts. Targeting pods are target designation tools used by ground attack aircraft for identifying targets and guiding precision guided munitions, PGM, such as laser guided bombs to those targets. The first targeting pods were developed in conjunction with the earliest generation of PGMs in the mid 1960s.